What is good friends, we are here with a new and a fresh PS Live. Um, I'm on the new alt, but this alt has like the same amount of uh, um, points as my other alt, where I like left off around 1500, mid 1500. Uh, this is a new alt, I'm 24 and 2 on this account, and of course we face a lovely stall in the first game, which is uh, pretty annoying. I'm gonna actually check this guy's rank real quick. As his nickname is you sucker. What the fuck is that nickname? So this is a balance team I made with um Shed Shell, Tapu Lele and um Shed Shell Heatran. Cause I just hate Duck Tree on that thing is everywhere. So I just have to be careful that he doesn't knock knock off my um my Heatrans with a sable eye, but the problem is what else do I have? I guess I can leave with my Tapu Lele. And uh, I'm not choice like which is amazing. I can just click Moonblast turn one. He's probably just gonna go for protect as most stall players do. I really hope I can teach this stall faggot a lesson, and which is what I did yesterday with some other stall dude. And there's no way he's staying in there, so I'm probably just gonna click uh, Psy Shock here. If he stays in here, this guy's just yeah, this guy's just bad. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me ever again. This guy's just awful. Like, what? Why did he do that? And he said, interesting. I'm gonna ignore this guy real quick before, like. This guy has an awful win loss already. So he just sacked the Sable I turn one and then he said, interesting. Good players. Good players. I mean, his plan probably was, like, to knock me off to get rid of the Shed Shell and then he can trap me with Dougie, but yeah. Let me just side shock this fat as annoying chance. He has to get up his rock. I don't know why. Cause I could have taunted you, but whatever. Good players. I predict them to seismic toss me. Cause taunt was so obvious, but I shouldn't expect anything from stall. Player with such a bad win loss ratio, like This is really annoying. I gotta be really careful that I don't get super pissed. As he lets me Hit his Skarmory, okay. Interesting indeed. I mean, now he traps me, that's fine with me. I have no Heather removal, which is annoying. But, um... Since he lost the Skarmory, a Tabu Bulu is kind of good with it now. The thing is, I'm Scar of Bulu. If I was banned Tabu Bulu, this guy was just... Yeah, banned Tabu Bulu was just win the game. But too, too bad I'm Scarf. Um, I feel like Landris is fine here and I didn't even explain my entire team yet because I saw this disgusting stall team and I'm just like, oh, come on. I mean, I'm just gonna like fire off U-turns or Earthquakes here. I feel like Earthquake is fine. Like he's just gonna go Sableye or some shit because he wants the safest target to trap my Heatran. Um, I'm honestly just gonna crit fish on the Sableye. Because, like, what am I supposed to do with this gay stall team? As he doubles into Duck Trio, really interesting play, and he just sacks it. Okay. Let me say interesting back. You fucking stall faggot. Give me your soul. Give me your points. Fuck off. I used to play stall, so... Okay, this guy was 15-10 only. We are 15-40, so we are... I am... I think I'm 25 and 200 as a count. I'm gonna, like, show you my rank after this, but, yeah. We will get, uh... Better opponents as we go higher, and we get we get a nice HO team. Quiver and Thermos are actually kind of six hours my team. I faced that yesterday. Some dude set up versus my scarf Bulu locked into Woodhammer. If I just stayed in, he would have died with Thermosa, but I switched and he just cleaned my entire team. That's the thing with this team. Amomola is just my Greninja check. His uh, Greninja is really annoying, and I want something to patch wishes wishes to Helmet Lando so it doesn't get whittled. And I also have Shetchel and Heatran. Um, the thing is, I also said I have Shetchel, yeah. But I wanted to explain why I have Shetchel and Heatran. The the reason is, um, obviously so I don't get trapped by Dagi. But the other reason why I can afford to not have leftovers on this Heatran is, I have um, grassy terrain support, so my Heatran gets a recovery back. And I have Wish Pass from Alan Mola. Shoutouts to Korea Ended who passed me a team a few months ago. I did a few short on lives with that team. I will either link them in the description or 
at the end of the video as this guy has interesting H O. So yeah, I got that idea from him, but I just made a team a little bit different. His team has had a scarf Lando. So he's probably just lead a self and I will just leave with my Landros and U-turn out turn one. Hopefully he goes for taunt. That would be the like ideal situation for me. But he will just go for stealth for guys soon. If I'm him, I would assume this is... Pro oh, he goes for taunt. Amazing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I can go into my Scar Tabu Bulu. And I can prevent him from getting rocks. The thing is, I have to be careful what I lock myself into. I think Woodhammer is fine. Because... I don't want to go for Stone Age and miss and have him get rocks up. Okay, so if he doesn't get rocks for the entire game, which is amazing. He knows I'm Scarf Bulu now, this is the problem. So he basically gets a free switch into Pinsir, but I want to do like a pivot play here. I want to go um, into my Heatran here, and I want to pivot into my Helm's Landers to get the Intimidate off. But if he goes for Sword Stance, that's not a good situation for me. So I'm thinking if I should just go hard into land my Landers. I feel like going hard into my Landers is fine. Um, oh, he doesn't even have he doesn't even have. Hypocrater, so he only gets a plus one. The thing is, yeah, I don't have storage on his Landers. Since opposing Landers is such a problem, I just run at standard HP. I said, mm, I forgot to say, have fun. Because I, like, I'm still mad that I faced that stall figure. And yeah, I wanted to like talk about a bit about stall. Because I used stall in the past. That's where I like lost my train of thought a few minutes ago, since I started to like talk about my team. So, what's my best play here? I feel like I have to just go for HP eyes to damage this and... Nah, I have a Scarf Tap... Nah, Scarf Tap will die to Quick Attack. That's why Scarf Lele is better to check Pinsir, but like st stupid Duck Trio and Stall forces me to run Shed Shell Lele in my... like... Yeah, you can say I had no reason not to Moonblast the Saber in the last game, but I destroyed that guy anyway, so let's not talk about that. Yeah, that this return is gonna blow me away, like... I will just have to get, um, I will just have to calc real quick if, um, so, okay, U-turn, I had to calc if, um, Metagross c kills him with, uh, Thunder Punch. If he gets hit by Rocky Helmet plus U-turn, that's what I wanted to calc. Yeah, that, that has a really good chance to kill, so I'm gonna go for that roll. I'm gonna U-turn, he was gonna take Helmet damage, and then I'm gonna, um, go into my Metagross. And yeah, that U-turn brings him in range to um, die from a uh, Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch is like the best play here, cause Victini resists Ice Punch. There's no reason to go for Ice Punch. Didn't speak. Didn't talk about my Metagross set yet. My Metagross set is basically um, like double punch, bolt beam coverage, like Steel Punch, Ice Punch. Then we have off quick to hit Heatran, Magnezone, and um, we have Meteor Mesh obviously, cause it's great stab. We don't have hammer arms, so we get whooped by Pharaoh Thorn, but that's why we have a Heatran and a HP Fire Tabo Lily in the back. Um, the grassy terrain can all sometimes be annoying. Um, I wonder if this guy would like stay in. If I'm him, oh, that's actually good. I don't know what uh, what I would do if I was him. <laughs> yeah, the <they're> such <laughs> God. Why can I not talk today? I, I really like. Grassy terrain plus a wish support from Alma Mola. Like, you can bring back months like um, Metagross. Yeah, amazing. We get that. I think uh, 73 was a mineral. I called that. So, that's, there was no point he was living. No. <laughs> there was no chance he was living. And it's okay. He brings out his probably Scarf Gengar. And I can just go into my Alma Mola and wall this. Unless he's like Specs. Yeah, okay, that I think that's Specs and this guy he this guy just risked the tie. I'm Spadef Mola, that has to be Specs Gengar. He had no reason to risk the tie like that. That was just a bad play. So I'm not sure if he's gonna stay in here, but I'm gonna go for project to get some health and then do I need this Alma Mola for anything? Like I'm Spadev. I don't think I need this Alma Mola. I feel just just going for knockoff seems like the play to make here. I could also go for Wish and pass that into Heatran, but yeah, just knocking off seems fine here. She lets me knock off his Staraptor. Okay, gets rid of the Scarf. 
And we can just protect to get more health. I don't know why I, I like was stuttering over my words like a minute ago, a few seconds ago. Maybe it's because I haven't recorded in a few days. This is um, I'm on a new computer, by the way. The last computer was um, it wasn't bad, but it just took way too long to render. And I traded it in. I had it like I just got it like two weeks ago, but I traded it in. Luckily, that was possible. And to be honest, I should have like looked more into good render computers because this one is is a bit better, but it's not optimal for rendering. So now that he let me uh, get my Amola back healthy, I'm actually trying to save it, and I'm gonna sack off my Heatron here. I think uh, my my Landris, not my Heatron, because like Landris dies to everything at the range it's at. It's just fodder at this point. Almola can be nice to check his Gengar. That crit apps obviously didn't matter. And yeah, this is the first recording I'm doing on a new computer. Uh, Shoutouts to you guys. You have been like, I've been gaining some subs. I think I'm at like 380 subs, 382 at the moment. Uh, Shoutouts to you. That's really amazing to see. And we can just go into. We can go into Metagross here and. We can click that young uh, T punch button. So what else? I was wanted to talk more a bit about the future of my channel, about this team. So this Heatran had Toxic before, but I changed it to Stone Age because Volcarona is a huge threat. This Heatran runs like a lot of speed. I have this spread from Poke Aim. I think it runs around 136 speed, so I can um, check Volcarona, which is a huge threat. I had Toxic before to hit stuff like I don't even know what I had Toxic for. I just put Toxic because I didn't know what to put and then I faced the Volcarona and I toxic it, which was at least something, so I didn't get 6-0'd. But Volcarona weakened my team enough, it had HP ground. He turned barely lift and HP ground, I could toxic it. But then it just like weakened my entire team for everything he had in the bag and I think I lost to Zygarde or something. Um, since this guy's specs, he's risking the speed tie again for no reason. Like He has to be specs, my Alamo was like almost maxed with death. Well, what else do I want to talk about? Yeah, this Heatrun is pretty nice. We run a lot of speed, so we can taunt opposing. We can taunt Tapu Fini. Um, so they cannot defog. We we don't have hazard control on our own, but if we get rocks up and the opponent has like a Charizard, a Volcarona, or a Mega Pinsel, they want to defog. So that's why I run speed on my Heatrun, so I can taunt Tapu Finis, and I have Wish Pass if they like attack my Heatrun, so I can get it back healthy. And I think I just have to go back in the Alma Mola here, because Metagross is pretty nice to check his uh, Fermosa. Is Hopefully no special attack, it's the death drop, amazing. And I will just go for knockoff here. I don't really see the point in going for protect again, because he will shoot kill me anyway. Uh, maybe I could live, but on the off chance he switches out. Yeah, I will just do that, amazing that there's a lot and be confirmed that he's choice backs Gengar. So okay, now I actually feel like I should have gone for protect maybe. I actually have a minus special attack nature on this Alma Mola, which is funny. Um, yeah, let me explain this Alma Mola set. Um, Alma Mola doesn't have Toxic because um, Tapu Fini is pretty common. I just run, ran Knockoff. Shoutouts to Mazar because I saw him run that in SPL. Knockoff Alma Mola. So this, like you basically knock off Tapu Fini and you get rid of their, like Tapu Fini doesn't have reliable recovery, so after you get rid of their leftovers and you get rocks up with um, with Landris, this game I didn't get rocks up but in general, then you can like, they obviously want to defog, like if they, have, if they have like a pin set, like I mentioned earlier, they want to defog, right, and they have a Tapu Fini. So if you get rocks up with your Landris, like, and they don't bring in Fini immediately, you can then pressure them, you can like double around, you go on a Tapu Bulu, let, make them tag rocks, and if you knock off the lefties, this tap, their Tapu Fini is gonna like get super low if you double around. So you see, let's say they have a Cell Steeler and a Tapu Fini. You, uh, you go Tapu Fini, uh, Tapu Bulu on their Tapu Fini. Then they have um, they have a Cell Steeler on the back, so they're gonna obviously switch into that. So you double back on the Heatran, and then you just go for Taunt, so if they stay in with their Cell Steeler, they cannot Leech Seed you. They have earthquake. They will be bad, but yeah, they either gonna leech it you or try to switch back into something. And you can just like, ta or you can just like taunt in general if they are super fast type of Fini without speed you. So I probably 
even lift this Shadow Bolt since I minus special attack Alamola though. Because Alamola has like no special attack and Skull is only there to get the burn. I put um, minus special attack so knock off hits a little bit harder. As we could see that did a good chunk to the Gengar. He might as well, he might go for Sludge Wave here. Yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna like sack this Mola. As we lift that on three. And we only kill him if you get the burn, which we don't get. <clears throat> I don't think there's a point in saving this Alamo Mola. At this point. I will just go for Wish in case he like misclicks or something. And... Hmm. If I go Scarf type Babula, I would have to risk Stone Edge with the, with the Victini. Uh, Metagross is also like really good in this meta. I didn't talk about it yet. I actually want Metagross gone. Mm, Heatron is nice, so he can't spam recreate. So I'm just gonna go into my Scarf Bulu here. <clears throat> but I don't want him like getting a free turn with his Victini. If his, his Victini or his Faramos is probably Z move. Because he didn't show other Z-moves yet. This was Mega, this was Scar uh, S Scarf, the Raptor, Specs Ganger. So if I go for Horn Leech and like Victini has a Z-move that I don't know about, that, like it's a, a speed boost, like Z Sunny Day. Actually, yeah, I know about Z Sunny Day. Does Victini get Sunny Day? Learn Victini. Sunny Day. It can learn Sunny Day. I hope he's not that sad. I'm kind of forced to go for Edge, but that's like super risky. So we will just go for Woodhammer, because Woodhammer at least occurs um, Faramosa. I did the card yesterday, as we get disabled, that's worst case scenario. So it didn't really matter what I clicked if he disabled me. I don't think it did. Um, <clears throat> he turns only there to check this, so if he has a fighting move on this, like it's fine. He has Final Gambit, completely fine, I didn't need my Heatran. Like, Heatran was only there to check Victini, like I just said. And... Um, let me let me think about what my best play is. I think my best play is just uh, Metagross lifts every hit, and I just click. Um, now nah, I still think Scarf Bull is my best play here, because if he Scarf Faramosa, he cannot Oko me unless unless he has Poison Jab. But if he goes for Poison Jab, Metagross wins, right? And Woodhammer just kills this, right? And if he Scarf and outspeeds me. Yeah, he has to go for Poison Jab, so he's Scarf. Um, wait, oh, is, is he not Scarf? Maybe I'm just bad and Tapu Bulu doesn't outspeed. Yeah, it's, I'm actually bad. Tapu Bulu doesn't outspeed Faramosa. So I potentially just choke the game. But he cannot be banned. Like he, if he's banned, I win this because he's locked in. Um, Let me calc real quick. I, uh, I played the endgame all for a good guard. Ice Punch is a roll and Thunder Punch is a roll as well, so I will just risk this. Yeah. So he's Sash for a most and I, I choked the game away. Um, actually, this is a roll. Nah, I don't think he can kill my Tapu Lele because he gets a speed boost, he doesn't get an attack boost. So maybe I didn't choke. He doesn't even go for high jump kick, I don't know why he didn't try to go for high jump kick. Uh, maybe he was banking on me choking. Yeah, I, I, I had just to. <laughs> why can I not speak? I had to go into my Metagross there at the end. I don't know why I tried to choke and went into Bulu first. I thought uh, Scarf. We're gonna get one more. I thought Scarf Bulu would outspeed. Fermosa. If it's not Scarf, that was my fault. I know Tapu Lily outspeeds it barely, but Tapu Lily is a bit faster than uh, Tapu Bulu. So that was just poor playing on my end, and we got lucky there that we didn't get. Punish as this guy has a Hooper, which is really scary. I feel like Scarf Bulu is a nice lead here. In case he wants to deal with Hooper, Hooper is a problem. Like, look at my Hooper switches. <laughs> Greninja is also like we can catch Greninja off guard with Scarf Bulu. He might just leave a land with as he does. Okay, that's bad for me because he can just get up rocks. I don't want to reveal that I'm Scarf, and if he's Helmet, I just take way too much damage, so I don't want to stay in here. Yeah, we will We will just exchange rocks here. Okay, he doesn't have HPIs, and he goes hard Zyga. This is, like, really nice, because my Landris checks his Zyga pretty nicely, since I'm HPIs. He might just think he can, like, coil up on me, but this is 
He has the glare set. I take everything back. He has the glare set and he has the Yachi Berry. Okay, why did I do so much? <clears throat> I feel like like U turn is a like really good play here because he shouldn't stay in, right? And even if he stays in, I get a slow U turn off. Unless he gets be paralyzed. Okay, I don't know. You know why he stayed in there? So I can go to Metagross here and click Ice Punch. <clears throat> pretty freely. Um, he could go into Magirna. So what other play do I have? Mm -hmm. yeah, check, let me check. I feel like, yeah, Metagross and Ice Punch is fine. Like, yeah, he could go in Magirna, but... <clears throat> My Alamo Mola checks Magirna pretty well, and... Metagross itself checks Magina as well, and yeah, if he goes Greninja, I wasn't worried about that since my Alamomola should wall most variants of Greninja. A bit annoying that Aggressiturian gave him recovery, and that Aggressiturian ended, so now my Alamomola wouldn't will not get the extra recovery from Aggressiturian. But yeah, I think that's Specs Greninja, and that, as you see, that did nothing. As you can see, I guess he can flinch me, which would be scary. I'm gonna throw off a wish here, as he goes hard Hooper. So this is a Bit of a 50-50. I cannot stay in, I need this. If I go for Protect, he goes for Hyperstase Fury, I'm like done. I hope the audio is fine, by the way. I have not checked the microphone settings for this computer yet. So if I'm like super low or super, like if my voice is super loud, then you know it's because it's the first time I'm recording on my new computer. I should have said that at the beginning though. Um, I feel like going Landers is fine here, because if he's banded, that's like the only fine switch in I have and if he's special I don't have a switch in anyways oh he goes for substitute okay um, I will just go for U-turn then hopefully we live one hit as he crits us which is always annoying and we get paralyzed okay Pokemon okay I gotta be like really careful that I'm that I'm not Gonna get mad. I actually could have stayed in with my Alamola, which is funny, but I didn't do it. So if he has Psychic, maybe he's mixed. I feel like going Bulu and clicking Horn is just fine then. Like if he if he has Gang Shot too, that's like a count. That's nice for him, but I don't think he will have. I think he will have like Nasty Plot and Dark Pulse. So. I might just go in a Magirna here, but staying in is um, staying in is a fine play, because I will just get more aggressive terrain, and I will get some recovery from that. Horn Leech, and now I can just bring Alamomola or Heatran or Metagross. I feel like Alamomola is fine. Do throw off a Wish again. He just Volt Switches. Fine, fine. So now that I know his Hooper only has. Special my Alamola actually checks it pretty well So I don't know why he brings this out like he's the counter to me because he's not I actually beat this one we won and I see like crits or flinches me. I guess nasty plot is scary um, Maybe I should have gone for knock off there pretty nasty plot Yeah, I'm just gonna have to like spam knock off to break his sub. I actually should have done that last turn That was pretty like bad of me Okay, that doesn't break the sub so if he has nasty plot, I'm in a really bad position so <laughs> never mind, I take back what I just said. Alamola is not the counter to this. Okay, he's mixed, and that actually did 5 million. So I'm gonna have to switch here. He can just sub again. Um, I'm gonna have to make a risky play here and go hard Bulu. As that hopefully lives a hyperspace, okay. Hopefully we live a hit if after the Hornleach recovery. Um, yeah, the, the full para obviously on the Landris into the Hooper, like Hooper crit me and then the full para me, that was like really annoying, it put me in the bag. Okay, we lived that amazing, amazing. Uh, he's probably gonna go back into Mugina, but I don't think I'm in a position to predict, so yeah. I wanted to double switch, but he actually makes the bad play of going to Zygarde. Gives my um, Tapu Bulu all kinds of health, that could actually like helped him a little bit, because I would have gone another turn of great terrain recovery if I didn't crit him because I wouldn't have killed him because I'm Jolly Scarf or not like Bandit or anything this is just like to check Ninja I don't know why, why what what is wrong with this guy why did he just bring this back out I showed already that I'm faster than you like I don't know what he's trying to do 
Like, even if you try to, like, make make me take helmet damage. Oh, we get him crit. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, I got lucky there, but his play was really bad. Like, what what, what, what was he doing there? What, why do you think... What? Why do you think you're faster? You, you are not faster. Okay, GG. Um, I'm, I, like, I'm, I'm glad that we went positive in this, but this game would have been really close if my opponent didn't choke there. I didn't play optimal in the last game, but yeah. I'm gonna end this here, like I said. I will, like show you guys my rank we are 1578 but this this account actually has pretty nice rank uh, 28 and 2 actually wow i thought it was 26 and 2 uh, look at that nice 84.9 gxc and yeah pretty nice actually like i made this team yesterday in like 10 minutes i just started off with a broken core of landris and um metagross shout out to ricardo who was talking about that core well, that like he wasn't talking about that core, but he was talking about those mons are like the best. There's no like there's no reason to not use Landris or not to not use Metagross on your team. They are just so good in this matter. Like you don't lose anything from having them. They fit so well on every team. And okay, what else did I want to say? I want to say some things about Roto Top Ten is gonna start soon. I was talking to my dude uh, Barros the best. Shout out to you. Um, so the the thing is we don't have that many good teams so if you can team build pretty good or if you have the super extra lord squads please hit me up on uh, skype or discord and or on my smogon wall and also i'm gonna like make this again ask you guys again if you are really good at ubers or um dpp or black and white you can join my spl recordings and just hit me up, just hit me up, because I need some uber expert, some black and white expert, and some dpp expert. Because I want to make that commentary better on these videos, especially since I want to record smog tours in March. Um, I mean, I don't know if, like, smog tours playoffs are not going to be in March. I don't know if I'm just going to record the regular smog tours. I'm probably just going to record the playoffs for that. Thank you guys for watching. If you watched the entire thing... I love you, <laughs> amazing. I uh, thank you so much. Um, I've been rambling on for way too long. Still can't believe that I was stuttering over my words early on this live. Like I'm not really used to recording anymore. Like the last video I made was on, I was actually on four days ago. Yeah, you might you might say four days that's not much, but when you record every day SPL on the weekend, and then you record nothing for four days, it just feels like you haven't recorded in ages. So, I actually got uh, something to do really soon. Thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for more. Smash that like button. Thank you for the support. We are really close to 400 subs. Amazing. And I don't know why I'm running for so long. 28 minutes already. Peace out, friends. Um, another SPL video. Um, the P2 vs Adam match is probably going to go up before this. Maybe after this. So, stay tuned for that. And Flame Victini is playing tomorrow for SPL for Superstars, I think. Like, this is just for fun, but he plays with anti, and I think they, like, made random generated teams, and I want to try to catch that. I didn't, I don't think they gave a specific time, but if I'm going to be able to record that, I'm going to uh, let me know if you're interested in that. And I know that um, Steve Angel is going to play with TDK with, like, their in-game team or something, which is really interesting because they have to, like, have their st starter on their team, but they can have real movesets. So, yeah, that's going to be, like, really fun to watch. Let me know, let me know, and I've been running for way too long, I'm Doc, which I am sending out, I thank you guys so much for the support, good god, what, what is it like, fucked up intro, <laughs> peace out friend.